so you fuckers can listen. And that will be the only fuck of this video, ladies and gentlemen. I'll, uh, well, apart from that last one I just uttered, I'll try to keep this as clean as possible. Right, so just a little bit of backstory. Um, as you know, I'm James Carl Morrison. I bitch about it so you know what can listen. Um, basically, um, to explain the situation, uh, you can tell I don't script these things, don't can you? <laughs> okay. Um, so explain the situation. Uh, basically, I have been part of the Slimming World um, Club for a few months now. I actually started in May. Or, yeah, I think it was May. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it was definitely May. Um, and the whole reason I sort of joined was because of the birth of my beautiful baby boy. And, um, yeah, it's the only incentive to sort of lose weight at this point. But anyway, that's a lot of rabbling and, and, and whinging. Anyway, right, so the reason I'm making this video is because um, my beautiful lady wife and my beautiful inspiration, that is my baby son, has left for Ireland. So, um as I am a man trapped in the 1960s, and uh, I really don't want to cook any meals, uh, at, least, at least not for myself anyway, um, I have relied upon the Slimming World um, ready meals that are available in Iceland. I believe they are £2 per packet, and they can be heated from frozen. So basically, I just wanted to... Um, I just wanted to make a few videos based on a few of these meals and I just wanted to um, compare and contrast and just have a look at what we're um, about to consume here. Now, as a rule, I honestly, um, I don't really sort of fare ready meals at all, but um, the whole group swears by these um, and obviously the person in charge, hello Jen, uh, she swears by it, but of course, you know, as lovely as she is, I can't take her word <laughs> as gospel, particularly because, you know, she's part of the Slimming World franchise. So um, I'm sure she wouldn't lie. I'm sure if it was hideous, she would say that it's hideous and would steer, steer me clear for another product that is Slimming World. But um, this is what it is. It does claim to be a free food. If everybody knows the, the Slimming World um, system, you would know what free means. It basically has no... Um, what they call sins. They don't really rely on um, sort of calorie counting, counting or calorie deficits. It's purely um, it's purely a system that um, measures food as in sins. Um, and yeah, it's controversial in its own right. Uh, doesn't really focus on the nutritional value of food. Just how many of these so-called sins, and you allow certain sins per week. Um, free foods are basically advertised as foods that you could eat as much as you like. Um, which in theory, I mean, depend, considering what are categorised as free foods, is perfectly fine. Um, however, uh, you know, as time moves on, I mean, there are certain um, sort of changes in the free food category. For instance, um, the uh, Muller yogurts, the fat-free Muller yogurts, were considered free. And uh, then some boffin Edson as well must have thought, well somebody's going to eat consume like 16 or 17 of these bloody yogurts so uh, we're going to add a sin to them just for common sense and i think um, as the sort of time moves on the system would gradually sort of improve and sort of think uh, you know how do we make this a little bit more idiot proof uh, i don't know why there's a fucking toilet roll oh oh i've just broke my rule uh, never mind sorry about that folks i don't know why there's a toilet roll in the kitchen i dread to think why there's a toilet roll in the kitchen only bad things can come of this um yeah so we'll we'll put this aside at shot shall we um yeah i mean looking at the packaging i mean the most promising thing i have to say is that the back of the packaging um is the actual recipe of the um of the meal we're about to consume which is a, a mexican pork fiesta uh, catchy name but yeah um if you wanted to make this from scratch uh, there is a recipe um i do believe it is a slimmings world recipe just packaged in a in a ready meal i mean in terms of sort of um in terms of profit i mean they're clearly making a profit off of uh, two pounds I mean, if you were to make um, something like this in bulk, I mean, you're looking at pennies, aren't you? But even if you were to make this recipe from scratch, I imagine a portion would be considerably cheaper than a pound. So even if you were going to make this yourself, um, you know, you would actually be saving a bit of money um, if you actually put the effort in. And it's actually quite good of them to to put that... Um, to put the recipe on the back. It's almost sort of encouraging you to do that, which is fantastic, really. Um and yeah, a little bit about Slimming World there, um, yada yada yada, um, stuff and nonsense. I mean, um, I'm my, I'm just saying this because I'm part of the group, I suppose. But I, I, I so far the, 
Um, so far, the group uh, that I've been going to for the last couple of months has been very positive. I think it all depends on the, the strength of the, the people that go, um, the sort of type of people that attend. Um, we do actually um, bring our, our baby son to the groups. Uh, I can imagine that being a real massive problem um, with other sort of swimming world groups who don't really want a, a moany little baby that isn't there, sort of you know, making noise and... and been a nuisance but everybody's really understanding about that um i was really concerned actually when the wife wanted to, to join because i just figured you know she's going to bring toby and it's it's going to be a disruption but um, everyone's been pretty cool uh, with that but anyway unless of my rambling i'm going to stop this video now and uh, i'm going to put bong this in the uh, in the microwave it takes about 11 minutes to cook um and I'm not going to stick it in the oven like some weird people do because it's a microwave meal. Uh, that is an option. You could stick it in the oven, but you're basically just going to wait longer. So unless you have a microwavable oven, we don't have a microwavable oven. I don't see why you would do that. But anyway, um, I'm just going to stop this video now and I will get to the main dish. All right, let's be seen a bit. Well, there it is. Piping hot like the fires of Mordor. There we go. Fantastic. Right. Um... I, uh, a little bit of a confession, I did have to zap this again because my uh, dad walked in and made himself a piece of toast and I didn't really want to catch him making, no, I didn't want him to catch me making silly videos. Oh, how dare he storm into his own home that he's paid for mortgage free for 30 years of hard graft, walking in his own home, disturbing my YouTube revenue, how dare he? But whatever. That was a nice conversation, I actually really enjoyed it. Um, but hey, um, yeah, so um, to be perfectly honest with you, um, although it might have been, like sport the integrity of the, um, of the, you know, sort of like the test and the product, um, I think it's actually figured up the source quite nicely. And yeah, I mean, just looking at it, I mean, it's not your typical sort of ready meal uh, mush, really. Yeah, I mean, it's got a lot of colour to it. You can sort of see the free foods there. You've got the spinach, you've got all these beans, um, sweet corn's a bit of a... Um, dud vegetable but it's obviously got not um, ideal for fucking flavour and taste why did I just say fucking god damn it sorry that's what happens when you don't script things it's just impulsive I do apologise um, and yeah I mean the pork looks okay I mean it's obviously not going to be like butcher's quality pork or whatever but it's um, I think it does look edible it actually looks quite nice um, uh, one thing I did notice on the box that I didn't uh, mention is that you do have nutritional information. Now, um, you can see there that 72 calories um, for a um, per 100 grams, that's not too bad. Bear in mind that we have, where is, um, ah, right, 550kg, so that's actually quite... <laughs> that's actually quite uh, cheeky, really. Like, why would you put per 100 grams well to default people basically so five times 72 i mean you're looking at I mean, it's still pretty low actually um so i mean let's just round it up to 500 so oh god i'm so bad at math um 35 uh, 3500 enough 3500 um 350 i believe I could be absolutely wrong. I could be talking way out of my ass. Um, but, I mean, just looking at protein um, and the fibre, it's quite high, to be honest with you. Uh, I mean, the one biggest criticism I have with uh, Slimmer's World is um, you don't really get a lot of um, nutritional um, information. You don't. I mean, there's not a lot of... Um, like, for instance, how much protein does one need to consume Um on a daily basis, how much fibre does one need to consume? Um, there's no like literature to sort of specify that. Not that I've read so far. Maybe I'm talking out my ass and I've missed it. But there's there certainly isn't no emphasis on on the of a, the healthy amount per um, man and woman. So um, obviously it varies between person and person, but it's all guesswork anyway, isn't it? Um, you can say the same for the um, for the sins. Not everyone's sins are going to be the same, but as a general rule of thumb, it's 15 sins um, per person, um, 25 if you're a big heifer like me. Um, yeah, I, I wish there was a bit more emphasis on the nutritional, because perfectly honest with you, I don't really know how much, how much protein and how much fibre you need per day. If I did know, um, which I suppose you could just Google, I guess, but you know, if it was stressed upon then you know i think that would um bear a lot more 
add to the diet. But anyway, there's a lot of um, chin wagging going on here. So let me just pour the sacred uh, yogurt. That doesn't look appealing. Um, another criticism is you have the frozen yogurt or sachet in the uh, in the pot, and you just sort of stick it in cold water. Granted. It's been in cold water for 12 minutes, so, I mean, it's roughly there, but, yeah. Sort of doesn't look appealing, does it? Oh, God. I can hear the dog, so that's going to be make things a lot interesting. He's, he's got an old <laughs> that's our dog. He's very uh, cantankerous, barks a lot, and makes an arse of himself. And to be perfectly honest with you, there might be some old dog in this dinner. Let's find out. Let's find out. Here we go, our first mouthful. I didn't think this through, really. As, like I say, it's piping hot, and I'm eating it with one hand. So, there you are, bottoms up. Oh, you can't see me eat it, but that's probably for the best. It'll be disgusting. Mm. Mm. Okay, the pork isn't too bad. That's a nice, chunky bit of pork. Uh, sauce is okay. Yeah, wow, that's that's not too bad at all, actually. Um, yeah, I've chewed the chewed the pork even more. It's definitely been seasoned. There's a lot more um, sort of those typical Mexican spices that are, are sort of going through. You can taste a bit of paprika, um, paprika, beg your pardon. Um, it's not a spicy one, but it does specify that it's not a, a spicy one on the box. Um, I'd be interested to actually um, have a spicy curry from the Simmons world if they do make it. That'd be um, that'd be quite a unique um, uh, unique take. See see what they can do. Um, of course, everyone who's seen my videos, you know, or the, you know, the one with twenty views, would uh, would know that I've uh, I've eaten a fowl, and uh, yeah, fowls are quite hot. Um, that one certainly was, anyway. Um, but anyway, this is um, this is quite mild, uh, but it does have quite a bit of flavour. Um, a lot of beans, but to be honest with you, it's a Mexican dish, so. If you're moaning about beans, then maybe you shouldn't have a Mexican dish, to be honest with you. All right, let's have another bite now. Mm. Yeah, again, not a fluke. That's actually not bad at all. Wow. I mean, the whole point of these videos is really just to sort of see the quality of these um, ready-made meals. I always thought it was very suspicious that a, a dieting... Uh, group would sort of recommend a ready-made meal it sort of defeats the purpose of going in the kitchen and making it yourself but I think in all honesty we simply don't have the time because we have busy jobs that aren't all that sociable you know especially if you're working in the care industry like I used to or NHS or any of the civil servants um that made the country great <laughs> um or if you're just apathetic and miserable and downright lonely like I am, you just want to make yourself a, a quick, easy meal um, with no fuss and no problems. Um, this this would be ideal. Uh, but enough about clinical depression and how busy and lonely I am. This is this is great. This is this is yummy, yummy stuff. Um, I you know based on this one meal, I would recommend this. This is uh, this is perfectly serviceable. Um, I mean. Ideally, um, I would always recommend you making your own meal. Um, despite what I said in the um, at the beginning of this video, I do cook um, like regularly, uh, particularly if it's for um, you know if it's for more than one person. I don't like cooking for myself, but um, I cook a bit for the wife. Uh, not so much now that she's uh, looking after our son, but yeah, it's it's something that I do enjoy doing, um, and I would always recommend making a ready-made meal but if you were in a, a bind and you just could not be bothered um i don't think you could steer um i don't think you could go wrong with this i think um, i could easily recommend so i'm going to chow this down and uh, enjoy it i'm going to leave you in peace and uh i'm going to post some more of these videos um on the, uh, the um yeah, on some of these Slimming World dishes. Um, wife's away for a week, so I'm going to at least try four or five of these dinners and yeah, post the results on the internet like a saddo. But hey-ho, it helps you and boosts up those numbers, hopefully. But hey-ho, uh, I'll see you guys soon. Until next time, Morrisoni is going to nosh. See you soon.